Okay, okay. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Please rise for the flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So basically, this was about a 3% raise. So the average, the, the home, if you see the, the attachment, is 184. And then that number basically correlates to any house. The duplex is just times two. And then any other unit, it goes that way. The Barrington intergovernment uh, agreement we have, and so on. The only thing I would like to say about this is, Joyce, do you actually put this schedule in that chapter? Send the ordinance to our. Uh, okay, because I was trying to look this up the other day and I couldn't find this schedule in Chapter 2. I start the schedules in there. I think the schedule should be in there, everyone. I think I was, you know, as we're reading our ordinances, we talk about fees, we talk about things, obviously, and transparency. And just to explain, so if somebody wants to look at something, they should be able to look at this. And the reason I bring this up is there may be an application in front of the um, planning board to build homes or townhomes on the property by the ACME again. Okay, so, oh, yeah. okay. so there was a preliminary approval to build either 57 homes or 114 townhomes. That may be coming, resurrecting again. You're talking about next to the Metropolitan? Next to the Metropolitan, that, that, the area? that 17 acres back there, things right. like that. So once again, there would be this additional fee. Remember we did, we increased our, um, our connection fee. It didn't go up a lot. We went from 700 to I think 1,200, but that, takes in consideration the additional connections was that, like is that. that the thing with the entrance on Davis Road? Yes. Yeah. There would be no entrance on Davis Road. Road. The only entrance would be on Hartford, mm -hmm. but there is a possibility that there could be an entrance from Evesham Road because there is a piece of land <coughs> yeah, that, that was a paper that, street. Is this the same project that the neighbors didn't yeah. want a long time ago? This is a project that the pit neighbors did not want to develop. Yeah. The developer is, I think, the people in that community really <coughs> have a do you agree, Bob? That was a bigger issue. I think there wasn't, a, against necessarily homes, townhomes make people a little bit nervous. And once again, our town, we didn't have a really good um, master plan that defined townhomes as well. If you talk to Candy, she always brought up the fact that we really didn't have good rules and regulations about townhomes. Well, town. now we do. We have better. Better. At least, uh, we wanted at least 60 feet from each. That's for a single family home. But a townhome has a little different, different uh, criteria. There is an argument under sustainable and stuff like that that you want uh, you want to have more um, clustered homes. It's actually more energy efficient, more more home utilities, utilities and things like that. But at the same time, you have an impervious coverage issue and things like that. It's complicated. I don't know what's going to happen. I personally believe that the uh, the environment is changing. I think uh, you know people do want to move into our town, and this guy might come back. I mean, the town doesn't own the property. This is. This is a privately owned piece of property. The guy can do what he wants with it. It's already approved, too. And, and it already got approved. If everyone remembered, there is an approval <coughs> that sits there. You still have to come back in front of the planning board the and plan. show what the houses look like. Remember, they never showed us anything. They only got approval for how many. Uh, and was that approval? I, th I remember it being quite. 57 was a nice amount of houses. 114 seems like a lot of towns. Well, they were single family. They were single, and that was, that was pretty nice. So this is to amend the code for sewer fees. This is just sewer fees. And do we know the numbers or? What are you talking about? It's in your Oh, okay. It's Turn the page. Okay. Okay. So this portion of the meeting is open to the public. If Paul or Dan would like to come to the microphone, state your name and address. Paul Daly. Say no one. Would someone like to make a motion to close? No, I'll make a motion to close that public portion. I'll second that motion. Uh, we have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, I couldn't find it. So the fees are on our on our uh, mm -hmm. marches now. I couldn't more. find. Well, I uh, I saw that the, uh, the email you sent out about all of our fees. But I didn't look at it all. Well, they were only a fee schedule for construction. I didn't look at it all. This is under sewer two ninety two, correct, Mark? Correct. So you got to look at each chapter. So, for example, everything we do that we collect the fee should be in our ordinance book. Right. Um, so that ordinance. Okay. Now we need to go to. Uh, is there a motion to adopt? This order. I'll make a motion to adopt on second to final reading and advertise according to law. Okay, thank you. Is there I'll a second? second that motion. Second by Ms. Passio. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Spiro. Yes. Mr. Farrell. Yes. And Mr. Veneer. Yes. All right, six eyes. This uh, ordinance is adopted. So then we have ordinance 20 02 is an ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits. And to establish a cap bank. Once again, this allows us to go above the 2% to 3.5% on the appropriation side, which is the spending side, 
And if we do not use it, we're allowed to bank that money in case there is a reason in the future that we do need to spend more money in a particular, particular line item. In the past, the borough has done very well. On our appropriation side, we always have money of the ability to raise taxes, or excuse me, the ability to spend money if we want to. So would someone, uh, oh, this, well, this is the uh, okay, public portion, you didn't put that on there, Joyce. So this is public portion, and uh, anyone from the audience wishing to speak about this ordinance, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Anyone? Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public portion? We'll make a motion to close this public portion. Motion by Ms. Passio. I'll second that motion. Second by Ms. Kelly, all in favor? Aye. All right, the public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adopt? Motion to adopt on second and final reading and advertise according to law. And I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Passio. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Sapiro? Yes. Mr. Farrell? Yes. Yes. All right, the ordinance is adopted. Um, under new business for discussion, uh, used car lot licenses. So if anyone, uh, we do have a ordinance that requires a, all the used car properties to send in. Ms. Pat, Ms. Pinto gets them together. I don't believe, we may have a couple we haven't, but none of them are complete this year, so we don't have anything to put on okay. at the moment. So once they come in, as long as she deems the paperwork complete, it's just a formality we just reviewed. Um, resolution for a change order for uh, Charles Avenue. Uh, Mr. Bishop, do you want to elaborate on that? This was going back a couple years ago for the Lambert project. We were waiting to try and get the cores waived from having to cut the holes in our roads. DOT did not allow us to do that, so we had the cores uh, done, the road was tested. There were some asphalt penalties that had to be imposed on the contract uh, for composition and for compaction. The compaction issue was on Charles because as they were compacting, the road was starting to bounce down, down. So we stopped the compaction, but unfortunately, the DOT will not waive that. So there's a penalty involved. So there's a change order in here that adjusts the contract for all the as built penalties in the job and also has this reduction in the asphalt. Do you want to explain how much the reduction was? Um, it was 14,000? 14,000 yeah. So we understand they were, by drilling the holes, which is nice that the DOT asked for, because we never thought about that, that the asphalt wasn't compacted to the specifications, so there were penalties of $14,000. Oh. There was an overall reduction of 16000 but that's because we had some information directed that we didn't use. Okay, so you had some money. The asphalt penalty was only 14000 Well, that's not too bad. No. So, so it didn't even... Yeah, so well, the basic plan part? It reduces what we are. Remember, we have money left over in the um, what do we the hold back. We ever we hold back right? retainage. the retainage. Right. So the retainage is what we hold back. Now that everything's cleaned up, paperwork's all done. He's going to make a motion to release it, less what they owe us and any change orders. And, and that money goes where? It's just we borrowed a certain amount of money. We always borrow a little more than we need. We just didn't spend it all. It'll just stay in that account. And then we can just appropriate it to another road. <coughs> oh, yes. Always have yeah, that's our money. So the contract is kind of like that. A yes. little bit, four thousand dollars, and then the, the ten, eleven thousand dollar change that, order. That was just from we didn't do all the stuff we needed. Okay. Line. So if we go over to a thousand feet of sidewalk, but we only did nine hundred and ninety. Right. The ten feet comes back to us. Okay. So uh, we'll just do that at the the, sure. the, the council meeting, um, and then. What else we got? So then shared service agreement for brine use and back to truck. Yes, Mr. Uh, Long. We drafted uh, both of these agreements um, and uh, I was working with Harry on those and I believe they should be all set to yeah. yeah, if you could just distribute them to them. Who, who are the other towns who are sharing this oh, with? Oh, geez. So, um, let's see. Well, Belmar is one. Uh, Costa Tacho. Hurst. Yeah. No, Costa Tacho. Yeah. 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 That was Barrington? the other one that previously was okay. talking about. Barrington was one. one. Now Ephraim was one. This is for the brine. For the brine. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the back to truck is Chesil. Yes. So once we have these four, these these standard ones, we can just plug in the name of whatever town. Yep. So the, the template of the brine one, just so we can you know a user friendly kind of plug and play kind of thing. Okay. And then the back to truck is a one off the Chesil. Yeah. Once you get it, you can so, just send it out to council and we'll vote on it. I can do that as soon as they're finalized. Sounds good. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. And then appointment of a part-time EMT. I think there was a request to hire another yes, EMT. Yes, but I don't have any paperwork. So. Okay. Oh, really? Well, I have an email saying I want to appoint it. So just yeah. because they might be leaving, let's at least get the payment of bills out of the way uh, before we go around the table and go through different things. Uh, 
everyone has a list of the of the bill list. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to pay the bills? I'll make that motion. I'll second. Motion by Kelly, second by Ranieri. Roll call, please. Mrs. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Lobenstein. Yes. Mrs. Passio. Yes. Mr. Spiro. Yes. Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mr. Ranieri. Yes. All right, so the names will be the, the bills shall be paid. So Rich, obviously, you see this. This is every check that he cuts. We get to print it every month. Uh, all right, so now let's go through a couple issues. Um, before, I'm going to go first. Go uh, first. <laughs> so that's a long one. <laughs> so the only thing that I really wanted to speak about tonight before we go through our, our different departments, because I know a lot of the stuff that goes between everybody, is, uh, well, first let me report, let me report about the, the sewer issue. I know the engineering committee had a meeting, but while you guys were having a meeting, Mr. Bach and I went down to the CCMA to try to get them to waive any fees. If we move forward with this project, the only way it's going to work is if the CCMA waives the fees to all the residents in that area. It's 100 residents. It's 100 residents, some are in Barrington, some are in Runway. The argument is that most of those houses were built prior to the CCMUA coming into the town. Um, Mr. Bach did a great job of having a list of all the years of when the houses were built. So any house that was built prior to 1987, we're saying should be waived for making this connection fee. Because had the town put the sewers in when they did the rest of the town, they wouldn't have had to pay this fee. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. every street had sewers except for these five streets. So, excuse me, these four streets. Had the town had them in, the county would not have charged anybody. So if you lived on Forest and the CCMA connected, you lived on Elmer, everyone where you live, Crescent, you know, Sherrington, no one paid that fee because it was prior to 1987. It's a good argument. It's a good argument and we think we have an example in Cheselhurst where Cheselhurst did not have sewers, and they got sewers. But the homes had been there for a long time prior, yeah, an, old prior an old town. Where it gets a little tricky is some houses were built after the 1987. I have a, some issues with that only because those homes, they went and put septic systems in. And I have a hard time forcing people to do anything. But at the same time, if we waive this fee, we're going to tell people you have one year to hook up. And the reason is, is many reasons. One, we need that rent coming in. We need that money to come in to pay the bills and stuff like that. And we want people to be off their septic systems. We don't want that sewage going into the ground. The newer homes that were built, though, they put septic, new modern septic fields in. There's still an argument to say we want them to connect also. So I think we need, I'm still going to try to argue to say there's about a dozen or so homes. You can picture them on Davis. There's some new homes. There's a new home that was just built on, Lines, on, 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 well, you can see the dates are on here. On Sunset, there's some new homes. Things like that, the argument that I have is, we don't want septic systems. So we need some kind of the carrot and the stick. We need to be able to say, look, we want you to get off your septic system. Even though it's brand new, we want you to connect. We'll waive the fee if you connect, but you have to vacate that septic system. So that's still where we're at. Hopefully they'll give us an answer in a, in a time. This year, one year. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they give us an answer quickly. So if anybody wants to see, there's another map I'll pass around. Okay. The second most important thing I wanted to talk about, oh, I have three things. I'll do the, second, the easiest thing next. Uh, it, it got turned on me a little bit because I took it, was the lighting for the park. Oh, now the park lighting, the company that did the evaluation, I believe is much more aggressive than we can afford, or even I think what we, what we want. They proposed 35 lights, which is wonderful. It would be very bright and very cheery. But I don't think that park needs to have that many lights. So I think we're going to have to go down there and do a little walking, you know what I mean, and, and get a little better feel for it. And, and let me just give you an idea of the price. So the price that they gave for 35 lights, basically the lights cost about $1,700 a piece. The county gave us $25,000. So you got $1,700 for the light. You got about $1,000 for the, the pole of the base. So you're about $2,700 a light before you install it. Now, with these type of lights, there is no electricity running to them. They're all solar powered. I think we could probably get maybe less than 10. And we could do them from maybe the entrance of the park to the bathroom, and then from the bathroom back to that other field. But we have I, to thought that, I thought this whole thing was to get the, the walking path to the parking lot lit from the field. Sure, that's what I just said. Isn't that? 
That that makes that right hand turn. That is going if past the half. That left that right turn. There's no light. No, no, no. That's not where this is going. This that's is the path. No, this it is. Looks like the path. That's the path to the to the uh, to the soccer field. Oh, okay. That's the soccer field. That's the other soccer field. All right. This is the bathroom right here. Okay. This is the bend where the sign is. This isn't even going all the way down. Yeah, this is 58 lights this to me seems excessive. This is from the entrance to the to the bathroom. What do you say? Where do you want to put ten? Where do you want to put the middle? If you were to put this quickly, if, you did if I were, I would not put any on the left hand side because that's where people park. Right. I would not do any there. I would not do any on this side by the tennis courts. Right. And unless maybe that one on that side. This is the this is the big soccer. That's a ridiculous drawing they gave us. It is terrible. That's awful. This is the big soccer field. This is the little soccer field. This is the bathroom. The bathroom already has lights on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's enough. So if we can just, if we did every other one of these, yeah. they did them every 20 feet. Yeah. I think every 20 feet. Yeah. So maybe it's a good lighting. They must sell Daylight. lights. They must sell Daylight. lights. Daylight. So, so that's what I'm saying. And not, I mean, none around the bathroom. I mean, excuse me, simple. Do you have a deadline to use this money? No, but the sooner we use it, the better it is for us because well, yeah. what you guys are remembering is, you're remembering last year, that we started using the twenty-five thousand dollars to do the the girls' softball work, and yeah. we did it right as girls' softball was was starting. It was the worst timing that we could ever have picked to dig up the girls' softball field. The only timing with this is to get it done so that our application looks better. So we're not worried about the path. The lights are going down to where the guardrail is. I still think that that woman, the woman who designed this, she went down the guardrail. That might be the right spot, or. We move it over a little bit closer to where the path potentially might go, or maybe somewhere in between the two. So there won't be any lighting by the tennis courts. Is that what you're saying? Not yet, because I don't think we can assist. It only has twenty-five thousand dollars. This is just a beautiful lead into our park. It's for the parents to get out of there when it gets dark. One place that we have a, a restroom facilities, and then that's it. That's it's a good start. Right. Hang on. Let me see what you're talking about. We are supposed to be closed at the anyway. We can change that. We're in charge. We do whatever we want. I say we let it open until we never force that. Excuse me? You make a rest for what? No purpose. Trespassing? Yeah, after dark. We get a drug arrest out of there. But is the gate closed? Yeah. No. And I'm okay that the gate's not closed. I, I don't know if that's a bad thing not closing that gate because I think it makes it easier for the cops to get back. If the gate's closed, I think it's less likely for a guy on patrol to go back. Do you agree with that? Yeah, you like it open? Leave it open. Okay. But I agree that the chief says there should be a sign that says no trespassing. It does. It's not part of the It's not typically. It's okay. so weird because some run your residents so you know we have to so, get there. Have you we haven't decided anything. I'm just letting people know that we're going to have to go down there and look at how, how we can stretch our dollars right. as no, much as possible. Mr. Parks, Rick, what do you think? Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. 58 is really good. So um, the last thing I want to talk about, which is the most important thing, is on the, on the budget side is the bonding. One of the things we've been doing these past many years is we've been bonding after we do our budget. I would like to see us at least start the process of knowing what our bond number is now. And the, odd, the, odd, the logic is, is that every year we put a certain amount of money for a down payment on our, on our capital. Every year we borrow money. And every year we don't spend all our money. Everybody knows this money lingers and doesn't get done. What I'm looking at is if we do this capital, if we, if we plug it in at the early stages, we then can start this process knowing what our, our budget's going to be. It's a number that we're going to go into. And then we authorize the money. Now remember, authorizing the borrowing the money doesn't mean we've actually spent the money immediately. Now granted, if we authorize in the next two months that we're going to authorize, say, $525,000. We put $25,000 as our down payment, we have to put down 5%. And the $500,000 Mr. Anderson gets a, a bond anticipation note for $500,000. That doesn't mean the $500,000 goes in our checking account, correct? It gives you the ability to have the $500,000. Yeah, until you, until you spend it. So now, the police department wants to make a purchase of a police cars. He can certify that the money's available, and, and now the 500 decreases by that amount. 
if a roof project has to happen, a road project has to happen, a purchase in another department, in the fire department happens, that money keeps going down. But as all of us know, is the police car here yet? No. 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 Is the dump truck here yet? No. 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 Okay, do you, do you see what the reason I'm saying the way I'm saying? Are the road projects done in rowing? Nothing works quickly. So A, not to say he still has to certify the funds. He has to certify the funds. But the money's not actually being spent. And even though we, we put money into an account, I'll give you an example. Last year, if you recall, we put $45,000 to fix HVAC work. Greg, how much of that $45,000 did we spend? Zero. Zero. We put $45,000 for HVAC, and we didn't spend any of it. Where is it? It's just sitting there. Now, the problem with saying HVAC is we can only use it for HVAC. So if the police department needs to replace their output machine, we can't just transfer it. So what I'm hoping is when we do this, this bond this year, we use as generic words we can use, building and grounds and buildings. <coughs> do you understand? Police equipment, fire equipment. Now, I don't know if I'm right if I'm right with what I'm saying, but do you understand? I'd rather give the police department flexibility if they say, you know what, we're not gonna buy the shotguns. It's more important for us to get this outcome machine because they get a letter from the attorney general. Do you see what I'm getting at? But if we specifically say guns, then you can only buy guns. Then council can. And we're about to do that, we can do that. We can be specific and we can be a little bit more vague. We can do both. Yeah. But there's limits on that. Yeah. See what Mr. Anderson is saying is well, the, the specific, being specific gives you a very specific useful life and a longer time to pay it off. There are advantages and disadvantages. Your life goes down. So a roof has a longer life than a car. Correct. Yes. So for vague and we don't get the specify, it's going to be somewhere in the middle, maybe. It's, we do the best we can. So when I talk a little bit to Anderson, years, months. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just give you some quick examples. If everyone saw each department, not every department, but the police department, the fire department, and public works sent a request for their capital. In. You should have saw fire and police, and you should have saw what was the other department that I said public works. I don't know if you saw public yeah. works. Yeah. So what I've been doing is I've been looking at what these guys have been asking for. And so the 2020 bond that I see, basically, if you don't have it, I can hand these papers out and take a quick look at them. So this is the public works. We can hand this out. So once again, they're asking for a lot of things. We have to decide, once again, even though the police department may say, well, we want to buy three cars, we may say, well, we can only buy two cars. We can only buy one car. So take a look at this, and you'll see what they're, they're doing, and you'll see what I, I outlined that I thought was a good idea. We'll go the opposite direction here. And then this is the this is the fire. So the fire department had their request. Did you see the fire department's request? No. No, I haven't seen it. No? No. And then the last one is uh, the police department. So here's the police department. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that one. You didn't see that one? Paul sent that out a couple months ago. Yeah, I had a couple of zeros, so it's okay. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm, what I'm getting at is, it's not, it's our decision. And what I mean by our decision is, every time we talk, something else comes up. I mean, if somebody just said to me, there's a leak in the police department's building. Um, the fire, the, the fire alarm system down at Harry Williams. The uh, Barrow Garage, the old Barrow Garage, we need to start this project. So the engineering department, that's why I don't need to jump on your stuff, but it's a money issue. If we're gonna to listen to the engineering committee, and the engineering committee says we need to start this project. So I read this application today, or this proposal, and like for example, if you read this, I'm gonna pass it down, you'll notice that the, that the, uh, the LSRP, the Licensed Site Remediation Professional, put years on here. This, this project is a three to four year project. So, and the money can change depending on a lot of variables. So if you look at what I highlighted and different things like that, it's most of it I'm looking at is to just do the first year's fund, the first year's project. Does that make sense? Is that what you guys talked about at your engineering meeting? Is that what you basically said, fund the first year? The reason we want to fund it is because, A, we don't want to get penalized. You know what I mean? We have an obligation to fix this problem. 
Um, I do have one question on that, just to jump on that for just a second. And maybe yes. Greg, you know the answer to this. I'm under the impression every year we pay, you guys sold this one? Uh, every year we pay a fee for this property that's on this, uh, Did you see this, this uh, Superfund site thing or whatever it's called. Does this preclude us from paying this fee that. by starting the work? So they fine us until it's cleaned up, or they it's a registration fee. It's an oversight, it's an oversight well, fee. It used to be higher, but now your oversight is your LSRP. So that number came down. So the oversight came right. down, and now you have the more money to be spent. So DEP can't enforce everything, so they hire. They're allowing us to hire the LSRP. So we hire our own guy. Is the LSRP's funding, Greg? Is that a bondable item? Okay. I'm checking out. All right. When you see this come around, you were at that meeting, right? So you, you heard about this. So that that to me, I came up with a number of about forty six thousand dollars to start cleaning up the old public works. That was, is that what you came up with? About it, starting the process. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Well, I enjoy saying things. It's a bigger number. Forty five hundred gets to me. That's where we have to get started to. But you read that application that goes around again. What, six months we got to come up with No, nothing. no. The way it's written, the way this guy writes it, is he basically wrote that the first year would be this. But look at what I highlighted. You've got to see what it says. If you see it, he, he, this project is a four-year project. Okay. Why would we fund everything in the first year and not buy a police car, not buy a, a fire piece of equipment, or not do a, you know, why should we fund all of that? When he's not going to need the money. The way it was explained to me, the first two years we got to come up with that two hundred some thousand. That's enough. That's the way it was presented to me. That's not the way I'm ex reading that's it. Why, that's why my notice says over the next two years. Two years. That's the way it was presented. Well, the way that I read it, because no, I wasn't at the meeting. I read it as forty-six thousand dollars. Okay, Mark. Is that accurate? Read, read, the, read the first. It says nineteen and twenty. I only highlighted the stuff that could be done in nineteen and twenty. Because he did this proposal in November, so I assumed he thought we were starting right away. So he wrote 19 to 20. I only want to fund anything in 19 and 20. Because Greg will tell you, why would, right Greg, why would we borrow the money this year to write a check in 21? 19 is over, so 20. I was, I was thinking you'd have to do 19 to 20 21. Well, 19 is gone. Okay, so then you add another year. 2021, two years. No, 2021, 22, 23, 24. It okay. keeps pushing everything out a little bit. I don't need to give it up sooner than later. I like your attitude. No, so here's what I highlighted. I highlighted in task one is the sampling the existing well network, $8,000. Task two is the vapor intrusion investigation, thirty. dollars Task three was LSRP and, uh, actions, $5,000. And then investigate the work grant, thirty. There's no reason to start doing the remedial investigation until he he, he identifies if the wells that are existing are okay. Do you remember there's existing wells out there? So, so see, I don't know. We, we have control over well, the time frame of the payments? I didn't know that. Well, or are you not sure either? What are you talking about? No, you can control whatever you want. Sure. He even says it here. He goes, because he, I, I highlighted stuff. Uh, he, he, put, he put the dates on there. So see what he wrote? He wrote 19, 19 to 20. So let's assume that's 20 to 21, because okay. 19 is over. Yeah. So 20 to 21, 20 to 21, 20 to 21, 20 to 21, 21 to 22. Okay. So why start the 21-22 project? Well, I am in total agreement. Give yeah. us more, more of the funds. That's fantastic. We've got a lot to do. Yeah. More roads. There you go. we got a lot going on. So let me just run through everything quickly. Can I have the papers back? And then I'll just read it. So I'm looking at. Yeah. So the only thing it's there's just some good and bad. So uh, do I have fire? So here's what I'm thinking, and this is not a final. Nothing's final. We'll do the fire company first. The fire company tries to get grants all the time, but if they don't get grants, we've got to cover them. So they need turnout gear. Turnout gear is for is for ten guys is thirty three thousand uh, dollars. They want they have the harnesses they need. That's for 10 guys, $6,500. Radios, $13,000. Pagers, $2,500. Water rescue, $6,000. The original proposal had a boat on there. And you say, why do we need a boat? Well, there is a no, reason. We've decided to go with the inflatable. Doesn't matter. The $25,000, we can't do it this year. We need to spend it on the LSRP. 
is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm if I'm not mistaken, don't, don't they always get the, the turnout here grants? They, they possibly could. They and if they get the grant, they get the application, but they have. But if they don't them. get it, and even if we fund it, it just reimburses us. So remember, a lot of times we put the money out and then we get reimbursed. Is that correct, Mr. Anderson? That happens a lot. Yeah. We put the money out and then the county comes or the state comes or the federal government comes yeah, and that. gives us the money. That's what's going to happen with the vests. And that'll happen with the vests. I got to put uh, 5,700 out for vests because this is the year where it goes every five years per contract that we had. We, at the time, we hired five patrolmen in 2000. Five, 10, 50, 20. So only Still five. Still $500 a vest? No, it's about 11. It's like 11 or 12 wow. yeah, with, with everything. But um, the only one that isn't here from that class is that uh, Haynes. The other guys are up for it. So here's the police department, just quickly again. So the police department wanted to have money available for the outcome machine. But once again, we have to wait till they approve one. Now, Paul's trying to be proactive. He'd like to have the money sitting in a checking account because if we get a letter from the attorney general, we go out and buy it. What I confirmed when I went, it was our year this past year to go for Alco Research, and I spoke to the head guy and he says, what do you think? He says, I think you should have the money. Yeah. I'm not saying it's coming, but you should be prepared. <coughs> That's all I need to know. Okay. So, but vehicles obviously are our frontline things. So the, so the chief is proposing two vehicles this year so that we don't buy one next year. So that we could buy, potentially our goal next year is to buy an ambulance because we have to rotate ambulances not quite as often as a police vehicle, but every 10 years, we're gonna, we should at least replace an ambulance every 10 years. Um, there was an issue about guns, and it's being proactive on the guns. You know, guns need to be replaced every so often. But what's nice about the guns is the guns, they really, they can, they can turn in the old guns. So where the cost might be uh, $20,000, they get almost $10,000 back. No handguns this year. So you don't think the handguns? No, we're not doing the handguns this year. Okay. Um, and then replace computers, but that's on a separate line item. And replace the AED machines. Now, the AED machines, you know, the, the patterns. That's something I think we should do for a grant. There's an example where we need to be more grant oriented for the AED. Those we could get a grant for. Now, once again, if we don't get the grant, then we got to pay for it. But what I would like to see is when I say when we put all these numbers together, um, I think we should definitely buy the, the vehicles. I think we should definitely, I actually have put the guns on there. But once again, my logic would be, guns. we'll call it police equipment. So if he wants to buy guns or whatever, it's police equipment. Guns, but that would be the same lifespan anyway, right? Any kind of police equipment would only be probably five years. More than that. Yeah. But the cars are also five. They're only five years also, probably. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the warranty is. No, no, I'm talking about for bonding. We're talking about how the bond looks at it. Public works. Now, public works, and this is not a bad idea. Um, he wants to buy a used trash truck from Stone Harbor again. Stone Harbor uh, goes on a rotation also. They get rid of their, their, their trash trucks on a rotation because they, they do a lot of trash down, down the shore. So we can buy one for $20,000. That one would help us because his idea, new trash trucks are very expensive. And the logic is if you can refurbish something, you can get a lot more life space. Why well, spend $225,000 oh, when you can spend $50,000 and get another 10 years out of a truck? And you understand the, tech, the, the, the new diesel engines are much harder than the oldies because it's, I hate to say it's more energy, they're more clean, but the cleaner ones break down more. It's really an awful thing. They haven't gotten there. So what Harry's proposing, if you saw it quickly, was, and I, I, I'm in some agreement, is we, re, we, we buy this trash truck, we send the other trash truck to go get fixed, we buy a pickup truck, we buy a utility truck, and that's it. He'd said to do some additional sewer work, but as Greg could testify, uh, this is a court of law here, he could testify that there is money left in some bonds. So there was money left for the Forest Avenue pump station. Do you remember that, guys? There was, we were trying to do some work. So there's monies around there. So, you know, you understand, I get anxious that we borrow this money, we plan all this stuff, and then we don't get it done. Like, it drives me crazy. You know that. And we've cleaned up a lot in the past couple of years. So before we get hiring more money for more sewer bills, sewer stuff, use the yeah, money that's already. Yeah, the sewer is about one hundred and ten thousand dollars, and I think the rest is one seventy-five. Yeah, but the sewers, once again, though, there's yeah. addition. There's money sitting there right yeah. now, and, and I would rather see council reappropriate the forty-five thousand for HVAC, which the only thing I think we want to replace is one unit, maybe in the police department. There was one small unit that does maybe the hallways. 
but I think the number was only like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. There were a couple of small units, but there's no reason to have forty-five thousand dollars in that account. Um, so that was police, that was fire, and then the last two items that I had, and I like to call them buildings and grounds. Well, two. In, uh, it's one giant thing. I'm spending five hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. It's a little bit of work. So here's what I have. I'll read it out loud. I didn't hear anything about the Harry Williams building. Okay. Two cars, $130,000. I originally had the Alco, the guns, the AD for $45,000. I had computers for $45,000. Computers, we need computers throughout the whole borough. Library, I had $40,000 for the library. That's buildings and grounds. And you could say that's part of Harry Williams. You understand? When we use buildings. The library. Well, the library is also Harry Williams. What $40,000 does it need? Lights, fix the roof, you know, maybe do carpets, paint, but it's that that whole facility. When I say Harry, I, would, I should say Harry Williams more than that. Scout building, I think we need to put money in the scout building. We need to get those people back in there. Forty. But remember, what I want to use the term is buildings and grounds. I would like to say eighty thousand dollars in buildings and grounds. Greg, that would be a longer term item typically, right? Bonding would say 10 or 15 years for the building. Yeah. yeah. And that would cover wherever we want to Sure. It could be if we need to put the roof, fix the roof of the police department. It's flexible. Yes. Fire, I originally had 90, but I want to cut back 25. Because. Because I want to take care of this LSR. I want to take care of the public works bill. I think we have to do this. I wasn't part of that meeting, but I, I think we have to start, start doing that. And then public works, I had 175. That gave a total of five hundred thousand with a twenty-five thousand dollar deposit. That's a base number. What Greg has to do is plug that twenty-five thousand in. You know, it goes in that five hundred thousand. You spend it fast. Does this include the, the monitoring slash alarm system for the hydrogen? Okay. So the monitoring for the whole alarm system. I got to change order today. So the original proposal was for eleven thousand dollars and change. That money, a PO is already generated. The change, yep, the change order just came through. We have money in other accounts that I believe we can cover. As long as Mr. Anderson can say that it is, he can certify the funds and that it doesn't break any rules. Because it's below the bid threshold, so we have to send it to our, QM, our, our QPA to review, review it. So the state puts guidelines on how much money we can spend without going out for formal bids. It stays below forty some thousand dollars. Why are you giving it a dirty look? Harry's wants us to do plan inspects for this. I, I should have been at that meeting because yeah, he has saying that that wasn't. We got the number down. No, he was saying that. That's what we got agreed to. If you look at that, I'm not, I'm I'm, okay. So don't. Here's what I'm. Here's what I'm saying. I went back and yelled at our fire official and yelled at our fire subcode. Yeah, you heard about our meeting. I did not like the fact that we went out and got a bid on something, and then when they handed in the blueprints, our, our own department threw it all back. You understand what I'm getting at? We went out and got somebody to tell us we what to do. We were told what to do, we went out and did the work, got the, got product, the money, did everything, and then said it wasn't good enough. So, two things happened. This will pass inspection. They were holding this at a higher level then. My argument all the time is these guys, it sounds like they wake up one day and they say, okay, you guys gotta start um, the the, the uh, uh, what's it called the, the fire the fire escape the fire escape These guys. so the fire escape the fire department. one day they wake up and then they say I'm on I'm on a camera right on a camera yes. so all of a sudden they say the fire escape has to be inspected every year well the problem with me is I like to be shown the ordinance so I can look up the ordinance you know what the ordinance says every five years it does did you look it up well I looked it up. It says five years. And you know who does the inspection? You. You can walk up there and look at it and say, it looks good. And you write a little letter and you say, it looks good. But do you understand the, the, the hurdles that they keep giving us? You know, we're, we're, that sounds like a meeting that has to happen. They're not wrong, but they're interpreting it every year. So you say, they can interpret it this way, we can do a little interpreting meetings and then we have to go to the Yes. I got you. So Mr. Anderson. Your job is to find out if that $14,000 change order is acceptable. I have a question for you. Yeah. Did you go with, with, with this with Harry? 
I told him I was doing it after he didn't know that I was dealing with Fred. Okay, he did not know that. He came up with a figure sixty to eighty thousand. Yeah, and I, I I yelled and said we're not spending sixty to eighty thousand. You can yell all day. No, 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 no. How did it change? How did we go from an eleven thousand dollar job to a sixty or eighty thousand dollar job? Because that department over there, how long has the Harry Williams been there? No, no, no. I think he said something like, yeah. I think he said something like, <laughs> other challenges arose and we have to meet new code standards now, blah, 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 blah. They're all, all off. Just all okay, so they're all partial truths. They're not lies. They're partial, partial truths. My argument, once again, is the buildings, if we did nothing, what's going to happen? The building's there. It's, it's not changing. It's a fire or something. Well, there is an alarm there now. The argument is, is that, is it meeting? We can't force, think about this, guys. Can I show up in your house today and say, your bathroom is not coded anymore? You could, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't let you in. I sit my dog and I don't have one. But if you go to sell it, that's when the, right? If there's a change, well, of, ownership, change of ownership. If there's a change of use. Next, I think you should have a change of use. Yeah, well, I don't know. Right? If there's a change of use, then let's do it. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yeah, no, whatever. Yeah. So if we can find the fourteen thousand and it's still legitimate, now we might have to go get a second price, right, Greg? We might. Absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna might have to get a second price, which is fine. We had another company that came out and looked at it, and the only thing I'm going to say also is, Mr. Laverty and the fire department, they're going to make sure that everybody over there in construction says this is all good before we start this project. Good. We don't want to start again. We and don't then want all to bring of a sudden, totally good for two years. They'll bring us totally up to code. If, yeah. If this brings us up to code, yes, it okay. brings us up to code. That's the goal, is to bring us off the code. That's the goal. But do you understand? That building's been there. How many days are you there? And all of a sudden now, something magically happened overnight, and the building's not allowed to be... It's 40 more thousand. Yeah. Overnight. 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 That's too much. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. It was insane. So we've already went out and done the proposal, the legwork, we're ready to go, and now you tell us it's, it's double that. Yes. So I understand. Yes. So, so the 37,000 hour when we had in the interim, that's cool. That's cool. So the 37 goes away. We went back. I had the fire marshal go out there, and everybody now, they, they should be all, I have a little letter from them saying that this is acceptable. Oh, yeah. Change order. Yeah. Change order. Do you want that back? Sir? The change order. Once you receive 20%. Yeah, thanks. thanks. I'm just we have not awarded this contract, right? Oh, we created a PO, but we never did anything. Are you saying that next year, maybe 2021 or 2022, we go for the roof over there? Ah. The I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying we put money in buildings and grounds, and we decide. So you're saying another year? So I think we have to be careful how much money. Every hundred. I'm okay with it as long as yeah, we list. Every hundred thousand dollars we borrow, it increases our deposit I and it affects our budget. I'm not saying I want to put it on. I'm just saying can we can it wait? Well, once again, this is all council's decision. If you decide right now and say, you know what, the only thing we're doing this year is we're going to do the Harry Williams building. We, I'm, you know this, guys. We don't have to do any of these things that I'm proposing. If you say, let's not buy the two police cars. If you say, let's not go buy the fire turnout gear. We don't have to do. There is nothing on these lists to, that we have to do. You have to add 30,000 to the code enforcement vehicle. That can come out of the code enforcement trust fund. Okay. okay. Correct? Yeah. Good. Here's my question. We said we can wait until next year on that on roof. roof. Really, uh, the engineer, can we wait? He said it's in bad shape. So we just put all that money for a floor, lighting, and all this. Can we really wait? Well, once again, we can take this. Uh, OK, where did I come up with $500,000? I came up with, with two numbers. One, I came up with how much money we paid off last year. And that's a very trivial, you know what I mean? My logic was, we paid off $500,000. Let's borrow what we well, paid off. Keeps our debt. That's a good idea. It's bad, but it doesn't, but Bob's point is valid. <sighs> you know, we are we allowed to borrow more. The roof. Is a roof a 20 year item? It would have a longer lifespan. Absolutely. So it's a long term. It's long term. Yeah. It's not. How much is the roof going to cost? Because it's not on any of my plans. Yeah. Mark. 100,000? I forget. Well, we had three options. Five years ago, we had three options, but I think. Because we waited so long, it so long. Long. got rid of two options because you couldn't do that. Okay. But I don't know that that They don't like hearing that. That doesn't matter. Yeah, but we band aided it a few years. How many? Six years ago. How did we get a real solid answer, right? My, well, can it last five more years or no? Yeah, I got more recent number. Once again, there's nothing to say 
we can't put another 100 or 150 into this bond. You heard what we said earlier. We don't actually take the money out until we need it. He just has to have authorization from council to be able to certify that the money's available. Remember, government, you have to have the money first. So if we add 150 to this, the only thing it's going to do is going to increase his deposit, correct? And the bond council has to say we're not overing our amount of money that we and borrow. Could, which you know we're not. And we then all we know. could do a roof. We could do a roof. Uh, have you touched on all the big items that you want to do? Uh, I, the most important to me was how much money we're spending, yes. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring it up. Yeah. Because it, it didn't disappear, I don't think. The, uh, the uh, firehouse. Is there anything that's happening? The firehouse is a, actually a question for the lawyer right there. How are we doing with the lease? We are. We've sent over to the bank. I received the information on the uh, scope of what we were doing. They wanted specific information just because we're kind of taking it's a uh, unique situation with, uh, with what we're trying to accomplish with you know, essentially guaranteeing the loan but then reserving our rights. To I don't think it's that complicated. That. We're just signing a lease saying we're renting the building for a certain amount of time. Municipal government. Okay. We're leasing the building. Complicated. And then, so that's why they're making a show that we, uh, what our intended uses were for the Oh, that was the question. The uses. Sure, the okay. uses for it. What, what the Do you understand are? what I'm saying? The bank wanted to make sure that if we're going to rent this building from the fire company, what are they going to be doing there? They're going to run the ambulance out there, which is established. They're going to run the fire marshals. Did we list all that? Did yeah. Fred get that? Fred and, and Mike Everybody listed all the activities that are going on in that building. Why are we renting this building? We're not just renting this building for storage. We're running an uh, entire public safety aspect. That was your point. I'm sorry. Correct. So they just want to make sure that it wasn't some sort of you know, end run around. Yeah. We're around using the building. building. To actually show that we're using the building to be part of the yeah. loan. So once we have a lease, it will not go against our debt. Okay. It will not go against them because all it really is is no different than if we lease a police car, if we, you know what I mean, lease a copier, we're just leasing a building. I mean, the, think about the Board of Education. It's leasing the upstairs. It's just a lease. It's not debt. It's not debt. But it is. There is a. There is. A, There's a component because it comes out of his operating budget. Budget. So it Comes out of his. Now we got to pay for it. Big, big, the big number. It's a nice number. Okay. With this lease, is there the option right, that so we'll eventually understand. own the building? There, absolutely. We will own it at the end. That is the only reason we should do this. So we we'll can't, take, we'll have we have can't take taxpayers' dollars and not own something at the end. So it'll pay off for a debt to asset ratio. And see, I'm going to argue that in 20 years, who knows what volunteerism is going to be, right? You can't get people to do things. You know, who knows what the future of fire service is going to be? We need to be prepared, you know, to continue. I would argue that. Our departments are much better than a lot of our neighbors. Yeah. You know, they, we have other towns that are trying to merge full well, of fire companies. I'm happy here. This doesn't affect our debt, so that's good. So he answered my question. I like what you're saying. Yeah. I'm happy with a lot of it. Okay. Um, so the only thing I might change, you know, I think the only thing we might want to change is, I think if you guys feel that this this uh, this roof is really really important, I say we add it in there because let's be honest, guys, nothing happens fast. It might take. What do you think? Box six months to draw up the drawings for you. Your your blocks. It does. It is. I feel as though it could happen this year or next year. It could be nine months if the architects are involved. It's something we have to it's really do. It's the same. We spend all that money for a new. You're 100 percent right. Lights, heat and air, because they're all going to be in the And half the half the roof on the senior center. Was well, down. the truth what is, the, it's our only building. It's our only social building. Yeah. Well, that's part of that forty thousand for the. I put forty thousand in there to start doing work in that in the senior so center. Yeah, but if the roof isn't done, it's going to keep leaking. I agree. We we just redid the uh, windowsill. <laughs> the windowsills are great. The entrance was just redone. The windowsills were just redone. You know, if we if the roof needs work, we should bond the roof. <laughs> get it done because we're just going to have to redo it again it's going to leak again from the roof okay come back and so let's get let's find our numbers again and let's plug it in now what it might mean it might mean pulling back on some other things you know but remember we're trying to touch every department and give them a little bit everybody keep everybody you know happy so maybe our number's not fine maybe our number 650 but let me just remind you six hundred fifty thousand dollars now our deposit goes up it's not a huge number but what is that Craig it's uh thirty two thousand is that, is that what it is? Yeah. You said 32,500. You mean our debt carry? No, no, no. 
in the budget we'll spend this year. There's a deposit. The law says every dollar, every time we borrow money, we have to put a five percent deposit in. So in his budget, that's a little bit more money that he's got to, you know, he's got to remember. He's limited to now. That's outside of cap, though, isn't it? Yeah. You understand what that means outside of cap? So when we tell people we can only raise two percent, well, it's two percent, but we're allowed to take another five thousand dollars. We're allowed to exception debt payment health insurance right there's a you know there are some exceptions to go above the two percent i would give us that we really try not to i think for many years right we've been excellent we're not going above the two if any time we were even zeros a couple of years now it's catching up on us um so we understand what we're going to do with the harry williams building about the alarm but I'll, I'll verify that uh, i think we do have to do something at the harry williams building at that senior center the library we have to invest in that we have to invest in the scout building. These are our assets. You're right, we have to maintain them. Uh, I don't know if the money's gonna go very far. I'm sure Mark would say that $40,000 of the scouts isn't gonna do a whole lot. But if it gets an alarm system in there, if it gets a roof that doesn't leak, and it gets an ADA entrance, that might be a good start. You know what I mean, to make the kitchen safe? I just wanted to say. No, I don't know if we can do the bathrooms. It gets a little, little bit tricky. There's a sewer line, but then once again, our public works guys might be able to fix the sewer. If it's our building now. So we're saying that we're the scout building, we're just going to repair it. It's all we're going to do is retrofit it. Okay. Can we make it compliant. We're close over there. Really? Yeah, every day that goes by, we get closer. And how, 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 how do we come to owning that? Because I thought the yeah, scouts owned it. Well, they can't afford to keep it up. Right. So they really have very little choice but to come to the borough and which is us and say as for help how do you notice this right. they've lost the girls out of there now i don't know if everybody knows this the girls are doing great at the yeah. senior center yeah. did you so see it? did you see the their... girls are using wolves did you see the they video? moved out officially well they were they were near the other night really? yeah. well, they were well there might be more than one trial no, 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 the boys need to move out yeah. okay. but the boys we need the boys to help clean that building up did you say forty thousand? it's a star yeah. but once again here's my argument we put 40, 40, we add all this money together, so maybe we have 200,000 in buildings and grounds, which would be a long-term debt item. So it, it'll help lend our, our loan to maybe some of its 15 Thank years. Yeah. yeah, the cars are five, the buildings are 15, things like that. But doesn't it have to be ours first before we can bond money for it? Yeah. So what, what's that? It's a technicality. Is that a technicality? Of course it is. Because all we're doing is we're borrowing money for buildings and grounds. We can't, we're not going to spend a dollar in there until we own it. Oh, okay. You agree with that? I didn't know. Was it that Same thing with the firehouse. We're not going to do anything until we get a signed lease. That works. Correct? Yeah. I think that we made a decision. I like it. Yeah, they're two good decisions. So we can move forward. Very good. So that's, that's all I have. <laughs> hey, we've accomplished a lot. <laughs> well, you guys changed. Uh, you see, we're now, but I will say this. It sounds like we're going from 500 to about 650. That's about right. Okay, so when you're looking at your numbers, plug in 650 for for uh, for capital with a five percent deposit of 32.5. But remember, if he comes back and says we got to tweak things, you know we might have to take five thousand from here or five thousand from there. That's our point. See, do you see what he's saying? Though there's only so much money that we can. Bring me out with my expenditures, please. Okay, so let's. Uh, why don't we let the engineer speak first? Only because he has always a lot of stuff. You okay with that? I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I gave everybody a copy of the status report. I'll uh, just go over things that have updated since the last meeting. The 9th Avenue redevelopment last, um, we were authorized for resolution R19-143, R so we're going to start the process of. Um, trying to determine that as an area of need of redevelopment. So I might stop here and answer. Sure. To give an example of that, we authorized to do redevelopment on 9th Avenue. Quinta did not pay their taxes on time. Joyce, what was the penalty for not paying their taxes on time? Uh, $11,000. That'll pay for the redevelopment study. But did they pay the taxes? Nope. No. That was the point. They didn't not at all. Pay. They didn't pay their taxes, so they got a penalty of $11,000. Right. And $11,000 right. would be paid for you yeah, so all that stuff. You know that stinks. But um, you know we have to pay for. But stuff. it also hurts us. It's a thousand dollar penalty for not paying their taxes on time. Sorry, no problem. It's called the six percent year end. The sewer extension project. The uh, mayor talked about the meeting we had with CCMUA, so we're just waiting for them to get back to us regarding those rates. 
nothing new on page two. Um, we are working on that streetscape though, but nothing's changed. So once again, there was money left over for sidewalks, right? We did a little work on Davis. We've done some work throughout the town on sidewalks. This was to help out with that whole keeping with Deluxe, keeping the sidewalks going. So Heritage, they want to improve their site. If we partner with them. By the way, it looks great. Just driving by there, pull in. It makes a lot of bakery to go shop. It looks really nice. Yeah. Now, will they continue their stand up too? Well, that's part of the plan. What we offer Heritage is a Bach. We'll now work, you know, we'll, <laughs> like that anything. We'll, we'll uh, work with them to improve that corner. Are we coming up sidewalks all the way up there? That's the goal. Yeah. The goal is to get sidewalks wherever their sidewalks are missing. So remember we did Eshan Road in front of Triton High School? That started, if you remember, back in 2009. Well, be, uh, where Schubert and Demon Smith. Okay. Yeah, that's an important where the kids, uh, you can see where they walk right there. But that's a tough one because that's I put a... a retaining wall. Yeah. But eventually it should get done. Yes. We talked about that for five years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard about a retaining wall before. Uh, yeah. It's a retaining wall. Yeah. Uh, page three, general engineering. Um, we received $240,000 for the fiscal year 2020 municipal aid through the DOT. We had asked for $932,000, so obviously we can't do all four roads that we looked at. Uh, so we were talking to the engineering committee whether we want to design all four roads and then that way in the future if we want to try and get CDBG money, we would have that road already designed and that becomes a selling feature for the road. So court, coming out of the engineering committee, they want me to submit a proposal to do all four roads and then we'll try and get as much constructed as the budget allows. That's good. When do you so, think about going out for a bid though? I have to a proposal to get authorized, okay, but, and then, um, So then you make a decision once you get the, the, the proposal. Right. Yeah. Because we can't, is, I don't is, be, is Rowan going to get ever paved, or am I going to have to never more. drive down Thunder Bridge Road again? Because I can't. Yeah, I'm right off of there. <laughs> it will get paved. It was a beautiful the day today. They need, this, well, asphalt plants are closed right now. Yeah. That's the problem. We love, I don't have to talk about that. It's later in the year, uh, but. Do all I'm saying is before you get yeah. up there. If we the want to spend this 240. The sooner the better. We need to go out there. Yes. Correct. Yeah. We need to get. We can't go out the bid in July. We need right. to go out the bid in May right. Or right. April. Right. So we will submit a proposal, hopefully get authorized, and then start to design and get that out the bid so we can be doing it in July and August, not October and November. Um, I see something about tax credits. Did you? Did you want to put we're them working. <laughs> That's something you can just. We have to up. Well, Joyce has uh, CDs that has the current. Oh, you do. She does. Yeah. We okay. first did the tax map. Okay. okay. CD. Well, that's However, we're, we're in the process of yeah, revising them. Now, I'm Pardon me. Those aren't accurate. The one time. Nothing's right. accurate because we could get changes, and one we have to revise them first. You want to revise them before we put yes. them on the website? Yes. So we're working on that. So the idea is to put tax maps on the website so people don't have to over request them. They can just go on the website. Please don't. Well, some will. Some will. Right. Very good. And Debbie Downer, so I tell you. Um, and then you talk about the scout building. We're, we're looking to do an ADA retrofit there, so we're just working with some ideas on that. Um, you just way great for the grant for 2019 we just talked about. We were trying to get it paid in December. The contractor was needed like four sunny days in a row. I think every Wednesday in December was predicted to rain. So we lost December because of rain, and now we're losing weather because of cold. And uh, they are using Arawak as their paving subcontractor, and the Arawak <coughs> plant is now closed for the winter. They're cleaning their. So we're in line for first. Uh, job in the spring, how are we going to be doing that as soon as the weather allows them? Um, as Bill John was uh, talking to Harry, we were waiting on leaf season to be over for having a man be able to help us with the uh, manholes that we can't open. So Harry said he would be able to help us out with that now. Uh, Black Horse. Pipe traffic study, uh, we talked to Shropshire today. They are setting their meeting up. We're hoping to have a date established tomorrow. So 
So I will let you know when that is. So we're going to go up and meet with DOT to try to get the traffic signal timing changed. See if they be um, agreeable to do that. The 2018 DOT project, that's the um, change order I talked about first thing um, at the start of the meeting with the asphalt penalties. So we had a uh, payment application in and the change order. So we're going to do the final payment of the $14,000 with the council. Yes? I think you already did that. Oh, the, 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 the change order was a reduction. So if it had been an increase, we couldn't have paid them yet. So uh, I think that payment was all done. Okay. Um, the Black Horse Point Redevelopment Plan. The, the redevelopment plan was adopted at your December 3rd meeting. Um, John was asking if there's going to be any more meetings to talk about. And as far as the engineering part, the you guys are done. Yeah. Uh, now it's how you want to It's going to be up to us. We need to get together as our groups. Uh, should we piggyback in on our next focus meeting like we've done in the past? Well, we could possibly do that. Well, just do that. Yeah. Well, although yeah, but we can even have a special meeting. If a group wants to get together, uh, it's not a, you know, if it's if it's more than four of us, we can advertise, but I don't think it's a bad idea to even advertise if we want to have a little more redevelopment meeting. Right. Do you think that next month would be, should, 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 I, should I put out a, 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 a Sooner than that. Okay, we'll get that out. So the next quote, so I'll let it right now, okay? And I think that's all. The secretary slipped off. What's going on with that lawsuit? Thank you, Mark. <coughs> yeah, we just not ever going to deal with them. I mean, they, no, we they, are dealing with them. No, no, them, I mean, it's like, uh, we're we going to court? Or? Yeah, there's an order to show cause uh, that's coming up that they did. Us? Well, are you talking about the Republic? No. No, 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 the sewer slip line. You remember that one? That's the guy, the water tank. We counter off her. Oh, you're talking about the water. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, that means it just, we, we had the money sitting in a checking account. Talk about that. Okay. All right. It's a possible litigation. Okay. Okay, a legal report. And, um, Page you on, Mark. No, I was about to be done. Now I'm on page eight. It's nothing new other than we already talked about the, uh, it's not in my report, but the $290,000 proposal that we're going to try and phase over three years now. That's this one, okay. Yeah, for the public works garage. 46000 That's a good number. And I believe that's all I have. That's all I have in the report. Anything else we talked about? Yeah, the only thing you back on that? Yeah, the only thing we uh, needed to discuss was the SEG down here, uh, the side hooks. Uh, now, we thought, I thought. Well, that's, that's not really your project. It's not our project. No, I was trying to get information from County. It's actually more of a planning board project. Part of the planning board application was they have to put a sidewalk in. So, all the work that PSCG is doing down there, for them to close out their project, they have to put the sidewalk in. But the deal that was made was the county has to move the curb first. They haven't done it. Right. Exactly. They put it in the wrong we, place. They put it in the wrong place, and now they're doing a change order. And we're just. Well, originally, you said they were going to leave back and go out. Yes. Now they're moving and going back. No, no, I think they're still going out. They just haven't done it. I think they're leaving that curb where it is because they, they have too much erosion there. You remember we talked about that? And they're going to put those bags of. of uh, the, way, the way I understand it, the curb's going to stay there and they're going to put another curb. Yes. That's how I understand. Why? What do you want? No, because I, I stopped the other day. They could go back. That curb they put, they could have moved it back like almost two and a half, three feet. Oh, I don't disagree. You know, I don't know where they put that. Yeah, it was just like you know, somebody had no idea where it was going. Yeah. But that was the line. We but it's a county it. project. We have a little bit of money, Greg, in an account to pay for the impact. So under our, remember there was some sidewalk, do you remember seeing a bond that said sidewalks and stuff like that? Right. So there's, what's that? There's 20 grand. So hope, you know, we're just supposed to pay for a stormwater inlet. So when the water runs down the Evesham, that's our water. We have to move it. Right for some down. reason, it's our water. Yeah. Hey, I do have to leave. Please, I'm sorry. I to say a few things. Say it, please. Um, do you mind if she jumps On May 7th, we're having a blood drive 
and um, the uh, police association of Brother Mead is sponsoring it, and it benefits JC, uh, who has a very rare disease, and uh, so that's they set up. And of course, we have pickleball courts, and here's a contact for lessons. Really? Can I see okay. that? Yeah. I'll do you, you have I'll give this? You a lesson. Did you, you, did you give this to the seniors, the contact for pickleball? I think you did mention that. We, 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 we already did that a couple of years ago. And um, the green team met last night and we're going to go for two grants, a $10,000 grant and a $2,000 grant. And with the $10,000, we have to buy the electric car. And with the $2,000, we're going to improve our green fair. And next February 9th is Black uh, a big celebration over in Longside. Uh, the gentleman is Representative Hakeem Jeffries. And if you're interested in going, it's February 9th. And it will be at the Grace Temple Baptist Church. And there's a phone number. The one with the woman's club had their annual spelling bee this weekend. And Virginia Milnes was the winner. And thank you, John, for, for judging. It was uh, very successful. The senior center was packed. When I say packed, it was packed. So it worked out nice, better than this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it went really well. It went really well. It went really well. It's a good yeah. And they have tables, so they can put their It's food. a great room. We need to use that room more often. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just worked. That's why we need to spend money on that room to make everybody happy. The kitchen. And this Friday's culture. And, and this, this kitchen Friday. Friday in the senior center at 7:30 is the poet society of south jersey and uh, i am a member and john is thinking of becoming a member so that's you guys need more things to do that's what i have to report so. okay sorry if you have to go did you want to report anything because you want to go i'm going to say my report for uh, our council okay meeting. so that was the big issue we talked about tonight was money because the budgets are next big our big, big item thing. Big thing. okay because it affects everybody about well, six hundred fifty thousand. We're getting our money's worth. I think. I think they printed. We looked at every department, okay. and I think everybody, everybody is happy uh, with what, we, we what we're thinking about. Yeah. I know. No, you only get last year. Yeah. And I love the idea. We're going to try and get that group. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You know, I sent to next Thursday. Sit down. Yes, I have that. You know, I was looking at your budget. You know, your budget's going up every year. I've seen that. Well, oh, get everything is expensive. Those those bands and they can walk while we're So yeah. now I put my foot down. It's like it's good now. You don't need me to negotiate. Them. Have you, uh, Patty? Have you got any calls from people about cats residents? About what? Cats. T and R. T and R. No, why? Why? Well, some neighbors have been calling me up. We have quite a few in our neighborhood, and there's some over in Sherrington. Oh yeah, I already uh, know about Sherrington. Uh, we we. And there's people calling call into home. People calling about on Pine Avenue, too. Well, they've been caught. On Pine Avenue, they have been caught and did their T&R. Oh. Right. So, and I have food for that gentleman on Pine. Matt Bowles has been kind enough to give me uh, I'm going to start trapping the turkeys. Did you see any turkeys on mm. Davis today? Yeah, mm -hmm. they stopped traffic the other day. I was going to work. There's that and they, baby And, and, and we, we were there, and they were the waiting. They were standing in the middle of the road. Well, they know when it's my car. They get out of the way. They can do it. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Council. Yep, see you then. Uh, go around the room then. Uh, Mr. Ranieri, did you have anything else you wanted to add? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, you're giving this to see you, Val. Do me a favor. Put this in Charlotte. Everybody's asking me about the heart and soul. Uh, we were supposed to be notified if we, if we were if we were a winner or not. Is this too loud or am I okay? What do I do about well? Okay. Thank you. Um, we're still waiting to hear. I called uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, gentleman in charge of the program, and uh, Eric Estrada, his name is. I always get confused about the name. And uh, we're going to find out Friday or Monday at the latest whether or not we did win. They're having trouble deciding. They're having trouble picking. Uh, you know the top five. <clears throat> They've narrowed it down to nine. We're one of the nine. Uh, two of them were eliminated, I think. And uh, they're trying to get the philanthropist to uh, pony up some more money.
to get some more towns involved instead of saying, you know, thanks for nothing, because there's no runner-up prize. You know, and I think they may be trying to get a, a runner-up situation. So either way, we're in good shape, I think. Um, in finance, we're still operating on a temporary budget. The, the mayor, Eleanor, and myself are having a finance meeting next Thursday, and uh, we'll be working on a budget and, met, and many other items. I'll keep everybody posted. Last night, we had our green team and our sustainable meeting. We're applying for two grants, as Eleanor mentioned, um, <clears throat> and we discussed that already, once for the uh, car and once for the, uh, to improve our green fair at National Night Out. And something else, I want to pass this around, everybody take a look at these. This is uh, something very interesting that came out of the heart and soul meetings that we had. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me see. Um, uh, we'll reimagine our meeting, we have chosen our next, our, our next mural, St. Teresa's, we're going to be doing St. Teresa's um, uh, recess blacktop area um, for uh, some art murals to help the children. Uh, one of the girls, Danielle, came, one of the employees came to Heart and Soul, and she said they're having trouble with some bullying issues. There's 300 kids every day well, during recess. There's 45 minutes, they're outside, and there's nothing for them to do. When you get 300 kids outside standing around for uh, half an hour, they start picking on each other. So this is, um, we're going to be doing some murals, and if you look at this, there's some great murals, um, and she picked out some of the ones she wanted, and it's, it's to keep them entertained and amused and educated. So it's quite a program. We get to do some art murals for the kids and it helps, our, our, it helps everybody. So we're all excited about this. Um, <clears throat> and uh, basically, uh, that's about it. The rest is progress. Okay, just going right. Did you have anything to see? Not other than uh, what's already been discussed and the other things I can't talk about. Okay, I understand. Um, did you want to have anything else? Did you want to say anything else with your stuff other than that? No, I just would touch it. Okay. Okay. Um, yard waste is back there every Monday. Uh, we're referring to the website for requirements. Uh, the Everyone should download the uh, app, uh, Recycle Coach. Did you do that? Did you, yes. did you do it? What did you think? Did anybody try it? Yeah, it's working very well. Great. And uh, it's called Recycle App. All the residents should download that. That gives you all the information for trash pickup, yard waste, and recycle pickup. And if there are any changes on it, it'll be on that app. Uh, we're still looking for a part-time bus driver. A uh, schedule of one available is posted on our website. Uh, Brian making equipment is being installed to make our own. Watch what we'll us know. Uh, loose leaf collect collection is over for the season. Residents are reminded to use yard waste uh, day for collection, and collection must be in paper bags or cans. Uh, repairs at the library from flood event have been completed, and the pothole machine is out in filling holes. And also on solar for uh, the borough, are we doing anything on that? It's 26% tax credit this year. Next year it was down to 22%. Last year it was 30%. Uh, um, what do you mean by doing, please? Well, for the building, are we looking for anyone? Well, I mean, like I said, there's only a certain amount of money we keep spending, you know? Uh, <laughs> we would love to do that. I do believe we have I to think it's a great idea, but... We have to finish our energy audit and all of our buildings, which I'm not sure where we're at with, uh, you know, gym leaving and well, things like that. We did a partial energy audit. We didn't do nearly... So our energy good. audit is complete. We don't know where we stand as far as kilowatt usage and all that. So when that's completed, that's our next step. We're going to well, maybe how about this? What do you think about uh, with this Harry Williams building, the roof repairs, or any thought about that? We had looked at one time, and they didn't think the solar building yeah. wasn't conducive to solar. Was that what we yeah. heard? Blue Sky. Sky looked at it. He remember that years ago. They didn't think that the roof was was it was suitable for it. Well, I'm, I'm, it seems pretty open, and I would. It might have had something to do with the metal. The you metal look, roof. You know, the I'm not against the middle, but once yeah. again, everything costs money because yeah. you know if we go put solar in, you guys know you either pay for it or you lease it out, and I well, don't know if, what the right answer is. If you pay sense. for it and you do the uh, ten-year program for it, the extracts are good for ten more years starting this year. Mm -hmm. And so whatever you generate, uh, you can trade the extracts at the end of the month. And essentially, the way it's going, I know my house is a much smaller scale, but it's my the electric is free. Yeah. 
you know, I pay for the solar, I don't have an electric bill, and then I sell the you extra extra. You for the panels. Yes, I bought the panels. You had to buy the panels. Yeah. You know, and that's probably the best way to it's do it. It's the best it. way to do it. If you lease it, you're just giving money back to the uh, energy company. But I mean, I would say that part of the sustainable team should help us put something together. And then it's going to be a matter of borrowing money and doing something. It's not just that. But where do you, what do you do, do first? Do we have a separate energy bill just for this building? Yeah. We have a separate utility. We have a PSE&G bill. We've got about, about 27. Don't we? At least. We've got 27 utility bills that we can look at. Okay. This building, before we had our tenants come in, uh, on the high end, it was forty-three hundred dollars a month in the summer, uh -huh. and on the low end, it was around eighteen hundred in the winter. Okay. And uh, it's, it's it's more now because we have the school up, the school board upstairs. Yeah. But we're primed for it. I know. I'm not sure about our roof. We may have to put a new roof on this building before we go put the panels on it. It looks good to me, but I hear it's too old. So all those things come to play. We have to have an energy consultant come in. That's what they do. That's probably the, the I've same. already worked on it. I started it three or four times. And it got stopped because of Harry. It got stopped because of Jim. got stopped because of the million different reasons I had a job. Yeah. You know, so we'll, yeah. get, we'll get back on it. I think it's a great idea, but it does take time. Yeah. But you got to do and it. That's harder than you want to suggest it. You want to run with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a big thing. Yeah. 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 We'd love yeah. to see that. Yeah, it's harder than buying two police cars. That's yeah. actually easy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but okay. we want to do it. Yeah. What else did you have? Oh, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Mr. Sapir, anything new? Your first month on? Uh, talk to less of that, yes. There's a lot. There's a lot. This is the workshop. This is where things get done. The next one. And this is where we should talk about things. Right. Right. There was something coming up. I talked to softball. They got a couple new people, so it looks promising they're going to start fundraising more with the president saying we do that. But they didn't really have the people to do it. So they did the transition from Joe. To everybody else, they took care of that to need to. So it's just a matter of them. And they want to give me a list of what they want. Now I'm hearing the school wants to start practice on March 1st. Did you hear that, Dave? Yes, they did March 1st. Did I'm you hear that, Joyce? Yeah. They sent an email out. I forgot. So I guess that's important for public works and all of us to be on the same page. Well, I, I replied to them that the problem we had last year was the water was not turned on when they started using the bathroom. So we need to do that. No, or, no. He, He's got to get porta bodies for that. Oh, that's even better. And, and then I told him we won't turn the building on until the threat of frost is gone. I got no problem. That's and I let him know uh, about the uh, um, baseball also, but they have wild wild facilities there. But the other building is not there either. There is one porta potty down there, I think. They used to be our office. Oh, it's still there or not? No, yeah. or not. So. They don't know where but uh, I think Maloney, is that, is yeah. he knows about the bathroom situation. He said, we'll take care of that. Yeah. And, and they both. So the biggest problem is being prepared, prepared for these teams. Right. They they already, already, I already let the girls and the RYA you know that's, that's when they're going to use. But if we need to fix something, I think this is where public works and working together yeah. to get something ready. Right. Right. And even getting get the school to do some work. I mean, I talked to the school. You know, I said that before. They should help us a little bit because they're using the fields. All so whatever Frank can do, he's the maintenance guy to make these fields ready, we should work together. All the infields, I drove around the other day, uh, and the, all the infields look good. There's very little weeds on any of them. And that's good. And so we just have to turn it. The one thing down at softball that we have to look at is the uh, third baseline on the big field at the wall. That, yeah, it, it, when it rains. It's going to, it's going to eventually. Have a lot of erosion there? Well, it's up to the wall now. When I first got there, it was six inches below the wall. And it, it, because the water runs down, it just rains when it rains hard. Okay. Is it, it coming rains, off the roof or is no, it just coming, coming off, off the field? Coming off the edge. And it's coming off that. And the wall is going to get overflowed soon and it could collapse mm -hmm. at some point. But it's something to look at. But it's a major thing. You have to lower the whole field. You know, so that would be a. When's my turn? Yeah. Um, I got a couple questions about this uh, sports event. The field house is that being used on a regular basis? Yes. Is it right now? It is. Yeah. yeah it could be used even more. Soccer. There's, there's, the sock is used up. Uh, there's schedules for everybody during the week. Team, well, it's, it's, it's actual, it's our teams? Our teams, and then on Sundays is used by uh, the Triton High School softball team. They okay. use it every Sunday. Good. That's uh, fine. Depending from 11 o'clock. So it is getting used. 
it is getting used now. There is some time during the year, like the summer, because okay. people are outside. Right. Everybody outside or everybody. Yeah. Outside. Rainy days there's, might be nice. There's no, there's no sports in the summer. At right. least with the Christmas break, right. it wasn't yeah. used. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 During during the winter, they use soccer uses a lot. Uh, Jeremy uh, Butcherelli handles the schedule. The schedule, so it's good. We don't yeah, I mean the only thing I think that I think John's getting to is if we got some kind of report back, it helps us justify spending money. You know what I mean? If we know that a building's being used a lot, it makes us feel better. Do you know what I mean? It's not being used. You can open up to the public. We're using for something else. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm thrilled that we're using that senior center more with the just to hear that the. Uh, Spelling bee was there. That's great. Because the seniors used to be very territorial about that building. It was a full house. It was a full house. So I'm thrilled. It was a full house. Um, great. That's great. You know, and then it just helps us justify spending money on it. If we can fix that ceiling and fix those lights and fix that roof. I had one thing also. Uh, Did you have anything else, or was that? Just that I was out, and just uh, I think softball wants to get back to being a five or one C. Well, that's great news. Yeah, why don't they merge with the ROI? I, that's what I'm, I've been trying then to do. they can save all that extra paperwork. Yeah, right. No, Just I change their bylaws and make sure that there's one vice president from the girls' softball. Not, they're so, why they separated long ago, he probably knows more than I do, but in, in, in the state with the people that are in there now, they just don't want anything to do with our ROI. We are, our is like a black sheep. But a lot of the same people go back and forth. Same forward. people, but I don't get it. I don't get it because I work at home. It's double the work. It, but it'll make it easier, but for them, then we might have to change. Our, our lives will have to change their bylaws with their bylaws to say they can keep yeah. their their funding to them. Separate checkbook. That's, check that's always been the, uh, uh, the, money. the money. Because before we took over the town, uh, we did when Kenny was there and I was there and stuff. Um, the RY would always spend a lot more money on baseball than on other sports. Than on the other sports. So the RY would pull from basketball, pull from the in-house soccer. There's no travel soccer then. They would pull from uh, other sports. Yeah, those days are over. Those days were over. Yeah. But that's where it all started. And Al Hastings, when he was at softball, he Al was great. He did everything there, but he. One main separate, and uh, you know when we never had any problems at the RY though when uh, when we were when I was there. I mean we did everything ourselves. Yeah, but there's less volunteers, and less I mean, the paperwork, the insurance. You know if there's a way to make them work together, even yeah, if they're two separate, we're gonna be girls softball just under one umbrella. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, that's gonna be good. That'd be a good thing. Yeah. So, why are you talking about softball? You know, I know that we've talked about adding an additional playground in the future sometime. You know, we think about location. We talked about the RYA field. Behind the girls' softball field, right in that spot, is a really nice area. It would be a good spot. And safe. The balls won't go flying. No, 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 no. no. Balls, balls go that way. The, balls go, the foul balls go that way. Do that, I don't know. Behind the dugout. Yeah. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. It would be great to do it. But here's the funny part. We don't own that land. That's why we have to get the scout building. We don't own that land that you just took a picture of. But I don't disagree. We need to try to do something. But that's a, that's a little. Do you think we need to put more nets up as foul balls? If you're going to put a, you're going to put a, a swing set. You need more nets. Some nets up. Yeah. Around the swing set area almost. Yeah. Just. Just, just you know, more, the area. And you know what the chances of the foul ball over there are slim? But, but there's a possibility. We install it and someone gets hit. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't have to happen. The no, I agree with you. Because people are there, you just got to figure out where you can protect it. Yeah, just focus on your area. Yeah. Uh, where else were we? Who, who didn't get to speak? Mr. Anderson. What do you want to talk about? They have the auto version right now. We're working on the. Uh, ADS, Daniel Bell statement, we'll see the FSA annual statement, and then as soon as we get those done, we'll be ready to rock and roll on the budget. And let's talk a little bit more about finance. So we're going to be hiring someone to make be his assistant. When Greg feels comfortable, he's going to move into the other office, and that office will be an employee to be an assistant. We're going to call it assistant treasurer, basically under the finance umbrella. We're not an assistant treasurer, but you know, assistant. Something more. 
assistant, yeah, clerk. Assistant clerk, wasn't he? Accounting. Accounting, clerk, accounting clerk is the civil service clerk. So we have to use civil service rules. So, but we do need another person in it because eventually we're gonna start falling behind, right? We're gonna fall behind in posting, we're gonna fall behind in reconciling, we're gonna fall behind. Where are we at there? We're not person. That's why I was just bringing it up. I was okay. just bringing it up that that's one of our steps right. is we've got to, yeah. once he feels comfortable about the move, then we, we've got to get move, moving on this. I mean, at this point, I feel comfortable that we can advertise for this almost immediately. Oh, okay. I think we can come up with a civil service so description with outside. a little bit of, what's that? We're going out of the house. No, no, we don't intend to go out of the house. Oh, okay. No, we don't, the, the opposite. We okay. intend to try to keep it in house, but well, by, we have to. by civil service rules, we have to offer it to all our barrel employees first. Because it's a, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a promotion, but it's a, it's an it's an opening. And the okay. opening has to be given to the, the staff first. Right. But it's a non-competitive title. So if you know your civil service rules, it's non-competitive. So as a non-competitive title, we can just put somebody in there. If it was a competitive title, like a police officer, you have to go have a test, and then you have to uh, do all that. This is a very entry level position. It is an entry level position. position. It's entry level position in the finance. But I think we can't wait too long because it's going to come and bite us if we don't, if we don't fill the position. Right, Mr. Anderson? Yeah. I said I wanted her to have to worry. Yeah. So he's, he's got his time frame. I just, you know, I have no time frame. Mm -hmm. So who does have to advertise? Civil service it. title. To we're going to make sure we talk to civil service before we do anything. When I talk to, we're going to make sure we have a nice little description of the job. We have job. a title and we have a description. <laughs> We can put it on the bulletin board. So I just have to modify the description yes, a little bit. Okay, saying. whatever you feel comfortable. So he goes on the employee bulletin board first. And then Greg will interview whoever wants to look at the job. Yeah, because next week's early February. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, was there anything else? Okay, let's get back on our agenda here. There's more? No, we have to follow the, the, the thing. So we're over at the good and welfare portion. This portion of the meeting is open to the public. Please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Yes. Tell us how great the seniors are for letting us use the room. Yes, we are. As long as it gets cleaned up, good. How's it been so far? Well, give your name first. Oh, Val Palasano, 831 North Oakland <coughs> Avenue. Uh, the gentleman who was doing it, they thought was doing an excellent job. Good. He was really, and he's only part-time. Yes. And he, A part-time janitor, basically a custodian. Okay. Any chances of his getting a CDL Class B license? I think he did pass his test. Went not, not, the, not a passenger license, no. Oh, passenger license. Oh, he didn't pass it. Why, do you think he would be a good bus driver? Yes, he seems to get along with our seniors. Well, we owe it to everybody. You know, we've been trying to hire someone. Any, uh, ever hear about uh, temporary agencies? You know, this is something that's really the public work superintendent, if Harry was here tonight, it's his responsibility to try to figure this out. But he's supposed to be looking. I mean, now I'm in the impression the bus is still running on a somewhat modified schedule. Okay. Patty gave me the list at the senior meeting. I went and checked it online before I told people. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. One of my neighbors was out there Monday morning so we have to update our website, is what you're telling me. The website needs to be updated. It just was put up. Okay. Yeah. He was supposed to be Monday and Friday. Didn't show. Now, if it was somebody new and not Nick Jr., didn't come down the block. Oh, they might not have known the road route, is what you're saying. He does, but Nick, somebody else. Nick Jr. Might. knows the route. Yeah. I don't Might know. not. I can't answer that. I mean, that's a public works question. Right? Yeah. So just we just got to find out. We so make sure the website matches the schedule. It's been on our website sign. People are just not interested. And there's there's an article in the paper not long ago. Oh, you're talking about the hiring aspect of it. Yes. I'm not talking about the schedule. She's talking about the people well, that need to know the schedule. That just went up. Okay. Yeah. So we got to make sure that they understand the schedule. Yeah. And any chance of ever getting the universal phone system? That's the one where everybody's number is plugged in, you pick up, leave one message, and boom. Well, the school has something, but we'd have to ask everybody to give us their numbers. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, now people don't even use their home phones as much. I mean, we maybe. I mean, I think the future that we're doing, and I know it's harder on seniors, is electronic communication. 
Because if we could get all the seniors to use their iPads and we'll send them an email on their iPads and then they would know the schedule. But there's a lot that don't have that. I know. Or may go to the library fun. to use emails. And well, how do we communicate with the seniors other than this? You know, that's I guess that's your point. That's the only way. Yeah. Telephone's the only way. Well, what about utilizing you and the senior club to help distribute that information? I mean, maybe that's one. If that, we're sure we have the right people. If we yeah. have the right people. Yeah. Okay. We have we'll talk to Harry a little bit about it. I mean, you see we have a woman who was waiting and the bus didn't pick her up. Okay. Did she call when she didn't get picked up? Do you know? No, she okay. did. She called you. Yes. She called me. Okay. Uh, any chance Harry will be here next week? Yeah, he just had an affair this evening that he had to go to. Uh, he was in Wildwood today. Uh, but, uh, you know, but, but uh, you can contact him anytime you need to. If you need to call, you can call directly. Okay. He comes to caucus meetings for us. He doesn't come to council meetings. Oh, okay. But if you want to speak to him directly, you can call the fire garage. I mean, he's usually there in the morning hours. Or leave a message, but you know, Craig will he'll, he'll touch base with him. I appreciate it. Thanks so okay. much. Thank you. Good to see you. Anyone else? Seeing no one else, is there a motion to close the public portion? I'll make a motion to close the public portion. Motion by Mr. Longstein. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Mr. Farrell. You got a chance. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Second by Mr. Ranieri. All in favor? All right, we are adjourned at 7.36.